Introducing Print Factory's new pre-press automation solution, Workflow. Click the plus button to create a new workflow, and give it a name. On the left-hand side we have our tools which we can drag over to the right-hand side to add to our workflow. We need to do an input and then we need to determine an output. In between the input and the output, we can choose which steps we want to drag into our workflow. First, we will start off with an input. The input can be a hot folder, an Excel spreadsheet or database. For this example we will just choose a hot folder. We have our input here. This means that images that go into this folder will be introduced into our workflow. Now we will choose an output. An output can be a folder, or to a layout queue, or to a cloud nester or it can be sent directly to a printer in the RIP. For this example we will use a printer as our output. Choose your printer. Then choose your profile. And choose your reference target. So we have our input and we have our output and, in between, we need to build the steps of our workflow. Step 1 in our process will be to scale the images. Drag the function across. Set the parameters. And you can rename the step by clicking on the text. This will help you to easily see what this step is doing in your workflow. It's important that you get the steps in the correct order, because that is the order in which these steps will be applied to the image. You can draw an arrow to connect the steps. So if you need tiling, or, if you need scaling before tiling, you need to make sure that they are in the right order in your workflow. Step 2, we are going to crop the image. Drag the function across. Set the parameters and rename the step. Step 3, we are going to add bleed. Drag, set the parameters. For example 5mm, mirror, with no corners, and rename the step. We add the arrows to define the order. Step 4, we are going to rotate the image 90 degrees, drag, Set the parameters and rename the step. Step 5, we add a job label. Drag the function. Enter the details. Step 6, we will add pre-flighting to check the image. Drag the function. Set the parameters and rename the step. In pre-flighting we have three options, OK, Failed, or Fixed. We need to decide, what happens if the pre-flighting fails. For this example we will use the following instructions, if OK then send to printer, if Fixed then send to printer, if Failed then we will export it to a folder. We set that up, and we draw an arrow from Failed to the folder we added. We have set up our workflow, and we have checked that we have all of our steps in the correct order. So now we can begin our workflow by clicking the play button and then the workflow is created. We can see the job is done so we can go to the RIP. You can see that the image has now reached the printer with all of the steps in our workflow applied. So you can see it has the bleed, with the corners cut out, it's been scaled and is rotated 90 degrees, and sent to the printer. And that is pre-press automation made simple. Print Factory is a complete print software ecosystem, everything you need in a single solution. For more information contact printfactory.cloud.